Hello everyone, E here and welcome to another update. Well, last time I was planning to work on the whole other side to look like this. I didn't really do much, ended up, as you might have seen in the last video, working a lot in here and fixing all sorts of stuff, which was actually something I wasn't really planning on, but it turned out to be a very, very gr great result. But this time around, let's buckle up because I would really like for the other side to look like this by the end of this video, with the only exception of over here. And this back side will be for another day. But I have plenty of pillars to build. Most of the windows are done. So it's all about execution. I feel like it will take me maybe 10 to 15 hours of building to do all this. We'll see what I end up uh, accomplishing in the end. Have you seen this? Do you follow me on Instagram? If you don't, you should, because you see stuff like this. Looks like something, but it's not really clear what else is going to be. So anyway, let's get to building and see how much work I get to do and how fast. Often people ask me, well, how long does it take? Well, believe it or not, this section alone took about four hours to build from the inside, placing the windows inside the whole interior part. I'm using this chance to really add the additional details that I've added in the last video over here. And it's, uh, it doesn't seem like much, but it's taking a long time to do. And I haven't even added the whole texture here. It's just the first layer when I use one by threes usually. And on top we'll use one by one in tan, dark tan, pyramid shapes and whatnot. So it's not 100% finished to have to just place the different kind of sortiments and see how exactly to place them so it looks kind of natural and that takes some creativity and some time. Now I stopped here to take a little break and I don't know if I'll continue today or maybe on the next days but here actually there is an issue which I wanted to underline because as you know I'm showing these for like the hundredth time, but yeah, this is one of the panels that I'm using and every piece, the whole um, border of the windows, as you can see here, there is, this is the border here and here, but the panel really gives you half of the border of the windows of the frame, so to speak. And the other half of the frame, the right side here, is given by the next panel, this side here. But over here, there is no window because there is a, this is where the uh, fireplace is. And this is actually the original design of the castle. So we have to keep this, can't really place on the back side a window frame. So now the question when we place this here underneath, how are we going to give this window a frame? Because there is not going to be another window here with another panel to give it the right side of its frame. We have the same issue here and on the last one, but here I'm using the column, breaking some of it inside and placing the frame alone behind the wall. And I'm not really sure if that will work here because the thickness is different we won't be able to hide that maybe and also there are other elements behind like the fireplace which actually will take probably a little bit of thinking how exactly it will work because I will initially try the same model and see if I can hide and place the frame well it's not only about hiding it has to be placed in a way so it stays still. So if it's not standing still, it has to be a way to kind of place it and secure it at least on the bottom and the top or something like that. So once I continue, I'm going to take this whole thing apart, see how it looks and try to, well, different ways to place the frame 
for this window here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully, best case scenario, I'll be able to use the same technique. If not, well, we'll have to think of another way. In the last update, I created this interior here with the arches behind the windows in the inside. And I feel like this is very nice. So while I'm building this side, I am going to build the same uh, simultaneously. So over here, we have the panels for the lower row. So I'm going to place all these one by ones here on these panels. And I have to make sure that they are, well, really properly placed. So placing one by ones is always a challenge and needs a bit of time. So while I'm taking a little break, might as well do that. Well, I've cleared pretty much the whole mess and put some things together so I can better show you. But all in all, finish this whole site now. Well, you can see over here that there's some texture missing because I simply ran out of these one by threes. But other than that, this is all done and uh, pretty happy with the result. It did take about the time I thought it would take, 15 hours or so. Obviously, this is not the final, final version as it's only the first layer of texture. If we just go around and look at the side I did previously, which is over here, you can see that there is a lot more going on. On top of those one by threes that I mostly use, I place one by one pyramid shapes, one by one plates in tan and in dark tan here and there. Just a few in dark tan for some um, nice colorization, but there is a lot of stuff that needs to happen here, but I will do that separately as it's a kind of a slow process to kind of get it right and spread the colors around and basically just make it as um, decent as possible. I decided to kind of go easy on the damage sections. It was nice that this kind of pattern kind of overlaps in this section here. It's like in a straight line here and here as well. That was kind of unintentional that worked out, but also it was intentional. Like this angle here was not completely intentional. This one here was. And I tried to kind of do different patterns here and there in different ways, not just having one in the column. I tried to overlap from column to a section where it goes to the column, different kind of heights, different ways it really is damaged. I feel like it turns out pretty well. Also, as I mentioned, I did everything simultaneously. So what I did on the other side, which was basically build this whole thing. Like if you've watched the previous videos, it was all done in sections. The windows were different separately in the lower section of the windows as well. It, it was all happening very slowly. But here I also worked on the interior. So I placed these things here as I did last time. So I placed them here. Also, you might be able to see, I'm just trying not to bump the camera because the mic will go crazy. The um, reddish browns, maybe if I turn the lights on, it will be a bit better. Yeah. Basically, the only thing that I have not placed are these uh, arches here in the macaroni pieces. The rest is, is there, including the things under the gargoyles and obviously over here, the open studs. That's not done. That's going to be done separately once I have so many of those one by ones in dark tan because I'll need 200. I don't know what that will be, but maybe I'll even change my mind and we won't have that chest pattern over there in the far right with tan and dark tan. But what I'm trying to say is that using everything together, which will save a lot of time. And I've also placed, as you can see, most of the uh, pieces that restrict the windows from falling. I mean, they won't fall anyway, but still they will hide 
as they say, you create an arch to look nice from the inside, much like here. So yeah, that was nice. And also I fixed the fireplace before, there was some weird colorizations here in tan, now it's a lot better that way. I will try to make some pictures from the inside that will show showcase everything like I don't want to shove my camera there right now it will look terribly but uh, yeah another thing I did simultaneously I like the other side well we have rocks here right we have this rock pattern it's going on here and around the back you know up to basically this side so it was actually a little bit less of texture that I had to cover compared to this side, but I really wanted to hide um, and blend the sections where the texture does start with the rocks. So I've done that a little bit. Probably I will even polish it even more at some point as I might change the rocks a little bit. And some people said that these leaves here in this color look a bit weird and I'm inclined to agree. Might end up removing them altogether. And there is this little section here that I don't like. Probably change this a little bit here to kind of different pattern. I just don't really like it. Other than that, the other sections that are really like this one here. Um, I feel like it looks okay. This one here needs to be changed too, in a way. Kind of, you can see a little bit. Shouldn't be able to do that. So, other than that, I feel like this is pretty much done. And it's really nice to I'll put on Instagram, I believe, a little video with uh, the lights off. So you can search that over there. One thing that I'm not really sure is over here, because basically we have the fireplace behind here, so there is no window, and that's... By castle design, it's not something that I invented or made a concession. It should be like this. And since we have the same arches here, this pattern here, it's difficult to put and overlay the texture. So I use this piece here as a good solution. Mm, we'll see once I apply the next layers how it looks like, but it feels like a good way to solve it with this piece here. So very nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Next time, I have taken apart the gates here, or over here, like what is the important parts anyway. And I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the back sections. There are a few problems, like the windows, the same pattern might not work um, over here. And by the way, it actually does work. The same idea, same design. Over here, like I mentioned, we hide it in the walls, this piece here, because I'm going to repeat this for the one minute time, but these pieces here, they're separate. The way that these windows work, they are only attached to half a frame. The other frame is comes from the window that comes after that. So the ones that are alone they don't have a body basically we have the frame by itself that is inside the walls and we did the same thing here this window is part of this frame and this frame and this frame is on its own and that one is attached to basically here and in the wall a little bit it turns out it does work so i was kind of afraid it won't but and again this last one this frame is on itself so over here, because we have kind of windows like here, like this, and then another 90 degrees here. So it's a bit the space where you can actually place the frame is a lot thinner. You don't have a three by three thick column. You have a one by one pillar, which I'm not really sure how that will work. So that's one of the difficulties that probably is going to be challenging. And then the overall difficulty is how exactly these things are going to be removed because initially if you've watched the first videos 
I was really happy of the way that this opens up like a little drawer, like a little wardrobe thing. But it turns out it wasn't all that great because it doesn't open 180 degrees, doesn't open up to here. It only opens up to here and here, which means that you have like this big wall over here and it's really difficult to reach because you can't, your hand can't go like this. It needs to be in a straight line. It hits the door. It was really difficult. So although the concept was kind of fancy, um, I kind of hated it. So it will probably not be like that. It will be like a whole section. I was actually thinking of two sections, but a subscriber of mine um, pointed out that if it's not going to be a door, why do you have two separate sections? You should just build it one thing that just slides in, which is a good idea, actually. A pretty obvious one, but hadn't occurred to me. So currently, unless something changes, it's going to attach here, the bottom, and up here, something like that, and one more here. So it kind of will slot in. My issue is that I don't know if I'll be able to build it sturdy enough. So the way it was, it wasn't very sturdy. So when I try to take it out, sometimes if I'm not careful, it might fall apart. With the windows now, it will be a lot heavier. So maybe that problem will not exist. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, basically that's it for next time. We'll see how far I get. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to show you uh, almost finished, if not finished, product here. But it uh, depends on my time and what's going to happen. So, yeah, if I don't have much time, I might just think about this, tweak a little bit, try different things and just decorate here. This will take like some time. I don't like to rush here with this decoration. Just I just need to put like some time and do it slowly. I'll push myself and otherwise it looks chaotic and it's a waste of time. I'm not really even sure that over here I like completely how the colors are and which bumps forwards enough and stuff like that. But it's pretty much kind of okay, I feel, at least for the time being. Anyway, that's pretty much all for me. Um, once again, if you enjoy my content and you like what I'm doing, Subscribing and commenting and giving me any kind of feedback is always highly appreciated. But even your positive attitude or acknowledgement means a lot to me. So I hope to see you very soon again within the next 10 to 14 days as usual. And until then, stay healthy and keep building. Bye for now.